Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie. Um, <clears throat> in today's video, I want to talk about helping yourself while being mentally ill. Um, I used to be in such a dark place at some point where I thought there was nothing I could do to help myself. I wasn't showering. I was hardly eating. Um, everything was a struggle for me. And I would see inspirational quotes directed towards mentally ill people saying that, you know, you have to take that step to help yourself. You have to take the initiative. Um, and I thought that was such bullshit at the time where I thought there was nothing I could do to help myself. But what I didn't realize was at the time I was taking my meds. I was seeing my psychiatrist on even more of a regular basis than I normally do in order to keep that episode in check. I was getting support from my family. Um, I was doing everything that I could and I didn't even realize it. <clears throat> So what I wanted to talk about today was the issue of mentally ill people not making any effort um, in order to better themselves. And I already know that this video could possibly be mistaken for something uh, malicious when it absolutely is not. But um, I just recently have had some things happen in my personal life where I take a serious issue with someone who is sick, whether it be physically or mentally, and they do nothing to help themselves. Um, like I said, I understand there can be some periods of time where you feel like there's nothing you can do to help yourself, but there always is. There's always the bare minimum something that you can do. My cat's in this video once again. Um, there's always some bare minimum thing you can do to help yourself. A list of some of those things could be seeking help from outside sources, your family, your friends. I guarantee that you have a support system somewhere, even if you think that you don't, you're not looking hard enough. Um, your doctor. If you are mentally ill, you need to be under the care of a doctor and or a therapist uh, to keep yourself in check. If you're seeing a psychiatrist or a doctor who prescribes you psychiatric medication, it's important to keep up with them. And it's even more important to keep continuing to take your meds. I know some of the awful side effects. I live with some of the awful side effects daily of psychiatric medication. But they are so, so important in maintaining balance and being able to be a functioning human being. Um, you know, if I found an excellent post that I don't have pulled up right now, but it's talking about even if you're in your most depressed episode, there's a list of things you can do. You know, if you can't shower, you can use baby wipes and deodorant, uh, dry shampoo, um, stuff like that. You know, there's just always something you can do to help yourself. What I don't have pity for anymore, what I have ran out of patience for, is people who are sick and are doing nothing to fix it and are constantly complaining about their lives. You cannot be sick and making no effort to get better. You cannot be mentally ill and decide the meds don't work so you're not going to take them and not consult your doctor. You can't be physically sick and say, I'm not going to take my blood pressure medicine because it makes me sleepy. And then you act surprised when something happens. This is getting a little mean. I'm not meaning for it to be mean. but. You, you know, if you are a person that behaves that way, you're going to notice people leaving you. You're going to be driving people away. Because everyone, I promise everyone in your life who loves and cares about you, wants to help you the absolute most that they can. I would do anything for any of my friends or family who are suffering from something right now or who are perfectly fine and just need help. But, you know, I'm running out of patience trying to help people who just seem not to want to be helped, who don't want to make that effort. Um... If you think that you're in a point in your life where you can't make an effort, like I said, I promise there's something at a minimum that you could do. Um, this video is coming across so mean. I don't know if I'm sorry for it, but, you know, you can't expect to get better. You can't expect to live your fullest life if you're not making that effort to better yourself. I know that some of the extremes suck, like medication or hospitalizations. I know that those things suck so bad. But sometimes it's just something you have to do if you want to be... No I don't like the word normal. I don't think we'll ever be normal. But if you want to maintain a, maintain a relatively, you know, status quo life, that's what you're going to have to do. And I guess this is more of a rant than advice, but I needed to get it out. And since I have this platform, I wanted to use it. So please excuse... Uh, the little attitude I had during this, but it needed to be made, it needed to be said, and, you know, maybe if you're in a dark place right now, it'll help you get the motivation to kick your own ass and start living correctly again, but 
Um, again, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.